Welcome. The last section of the application structure is the IPC, the inter-process communication. We will not go into much detail about this because we will cover it also with some example vulnerabilities. But the IPC handles the communication between different processes on your operating system, similar to Linux, but Android is a little bit different. As you can see in the picture, you have process A, so for example, app A, which can communicate with a different app via the IPC framework, which uses a proxy, a binder driver, and in that way it can communicate with process B. It's a built-in mechanism in the operating system and it is used to communicate between sandboxes. And it uses the binder framework, but I don't want to go in all these details. But one of the most important things is what we already saw in the previous slide, that an Android app contains different components. You have activities, views, and the Android manifest. And also important for the inter-process communications are intents. And intents is an object that can be used to request an action from another app component or from another app. So if you have an activity, an activity can be exported. And the last topic, intents are also important. And an intent is linked to an activity, as we saw in the previous section about the different Android components. So if we look into this explanation from a Google Android training, then you can see an activity class is the major building block of your app's user interface. And an intent is used to communicate from one activity to another. So with an intent, you can share activities between app components, but you can also share the activities between different apps. So that's interesting to know about intents. So first you have an activity, which is declared in the Android manifest, but also you have an intent filter in your Android manifest. And an intent filter mentions what can you do with the activity or what part of the activity can you use. So in this case, there is an intent filter, filter which says you can use the main method from the activity and the launcher method of the activity. So that's in short what is important about the intents.